Hello and welcome to My Bolt UV. I am Jim and we're going from point A to point B. This is part three of the 1200 plus mile road trip. This part of the journey took us from ice cold Enterprise, Alabama back home to Central Florida. The temperature for a, this leg of the trip actually made it up to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 18 degrees Celsius. The morning temp in Enterprise was only 33 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 2 degrees Celsius, and we did have some sleet mixed with rain. It did warm up some throughout the day, but not much. By the time we made it home, it had made it up to 64 degrees. On day three, we started out with a charger at Mitchell Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Enterprise, Alabama. It is a single charge point charger. There are two more identical chargers nearby at Mitchell Nissan. There is also a charger at Boswell Buick, and there are two new charge point chargers coming online at a nearby gas station, Legacy Gas Station, and they may actually be online by the time this video is posted. They were fully installed while I was there. So the temperature was 36 degrees Fahrenheit that morning. We got up to a 32 kilowatt speed. The time on the charger was 30 minutes. We added 12.64 kilowatt hours for a total cost of $6.19. We arrived with 95 miles on the guessometer and left with 144 miles. That's from 40 to 60 percent, but we were still charging pretty slow, only 98 miles per hour. Remember the battery was still pretty cold, and it, but it did charge better than the charger in Peachtree Corners the day before. We moved on down the road to Chipley, Florida at an Electrify America station in front of the Walmart. Temperature there was up to 51 degrees. The charger speed was 45 kilowatts. Time on the charger, about 30 minutes again. We added 16.79 kilowatt hours for a total cost of $6.25. Rolled in at 40%, left with 65%, and from 85 to 139 miles. Charging speed was up to 108 miles per hour. Battery was still cold, but the charger speeds were increasing. Not going to stand outside and do a video while we're charging at Chipley. It's a little bit too uh, too rainy. You'll probably hear the rain hitting the top of the car. We're going to be here until we've got about 134 miles of range, so we can make it to Tallahassee. Tallahassee will be another 30-minute charge or so, and then we'll move on to Lake City, which is where we started this video. I'll do a pretty good, pretty deep charge there and move on home. More later. Was going to try to make it to the Electrify America in Tallahassee, but I decided to stop in Quincy, Florida at a Hampton Inn. There was a Jewel Energy Charger there that I wanted to try out. Again, the temperature was still 51 degrees Fahrenheit, still raining. It had been raining since we left Enterprise. Charger speed got up to about 48 kilowatts. We were there for 57 minutes, dispensed 35.8 kilowatt hours for a total cost of $11.43. We arrived with 63 miles on the guessometer and left with 173, and that was roughly 30 to 93% capacity. We got up to 116 miles per hour on the charging speed. Only one of two chargers were operational at this site. One charger was offline, and it appears to have been offline for several weeks. The reason we had to charge so much here is because we had quite a big leg to make over to Lake City, Florida, which was a little bit over 130 miles away. So the next stop and the actual last stop we made on the road was the first stop we made back at the Lake City Park and Ride FPL Evolution site in Lake City, Florida. Temperature was up to 64 degrees there and we got up to 53 kilowatts in speed. We were on the charger for 69 minutes and added 43.82 kilowatt hours for a total cost of $12.96. We arrived with 47 miles on the guessometer and left with 184 miles and from 23 to 85 percent. We were actually charging 119 miles per hour. We did take our time at this site because we were hungry and we went out to dinner. We had a nice dinner. And it, when we got back to the car, it only took 10 more minutes to get us up to that 85% capacity, which is where we needed to be to get home. And the final charge for this trip was at home. It was in the garage, so it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, using my AC charger 7.2 kilowatts overnight charge for 41. I'm sorry, 40.1 kilowatt hours dispensed, 
$5.85 is all this cost. And it took us back up to 174 miles, taking us from 16 to 78 percent. Now let's take a look at the summary. 395 miles for a DC fast charge time of 3 hours and 6 minutes. We shopped, ate, or went to the restroom for an hour and 32 minutes of that time and had a net wait of 1 hour 34 minutes. There were no other charging sessions. The charge cost for this leg $42.68, cost per mile $0.10.8. Cent. And that wraps up part three, but now to summarize the entire trip. First of all, I had misstated the cost per mile in part one. It was actually only $0.4 cent per mile. But now the entire trip was 1,211 miles, DC fast charge time 7 hours 43 minutes, shopping, eating, restroom breaks 3 hours and 24 minutes of that time for a net wait of 4 hours and 19 minutes. I've already talked about all the other charging sessions. The total cost for this trip $106.56 and total cost per mile was 8.8 .8 cent per mile. So now that this trip is over, let's drop back in on the back porch with Jim, Bubba, and Spike and see what they have to say. Well, what about now, boys? Still think you know there is everything to know about a bolt, huh? Go get in your expensive SUVs and drive away and spend some extra money at a DC fast charger. How about it? Later. So the next time someone says you can't road trip a Bolt EUV, tell them to look at this series of videos. And if they tell you that it costs more than gasoline, tell them to look at this series of videos. And while it's not much cheaper than gasoline, at least for now, it is still cheaper, period. The amount of money that you save in owning an electric car is from charging at home. To even come close to that, Gasoline would have to be 55 cent per gallon or cheaper, and we all know that ain't happening anytime soon. Hey, if you don't believe me, just ask Bubba and Spike. Please remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like, and ring that notification bell if you want to know when I upload something new. Remember also, treat everyone with kindness. Put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same. See you all very soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody.